welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Today I finally have my haul. I was planning to film this last weekend, but if you you might have seen on my community tab that I had to have a tooth pulled on Friday. So it has been a week and I'm finally feeling better and not uh, just exhausted. Like I was completely exhausted that entire weekend. I didn't really do anything at all. I did watch my KC Chiefs. I am a Chiefs fan, so it was a very exciting uh, weekend for that, but I didn't feel that great so that was a issue in the end but I have my haul and I have a few more things that I actually bought this week so I want to include those in this as well I'm going to start with TJ Maxx and the things that I just found like yesterday um, I already have like my melons so I'm going to show you what this looks like these were $9.99 I did find ones in boxes that were unopened which was awesome and that's what it looks like it's really pretty I'm gonna put this um, in a giveaway so stay tuned for that you will see that coming soon then the other one I got was papaya pop these smell so good I really love these um, this one doesn't smell quite as strongly as some of the other ones but it still smells nice so we're gonna do the one two threes so the blush itself, the highlight itself, and then the mix together. There is a little fallout, but that blush is really light. I think it looks really nice mixed together. It gives you a little bit more depth. And if you like a glowy blush, that's a really nice one. The next blush I got was from NARS. This one was $12.99. They had several of them. A lot of them looked like they were open. And I was looking for packages that looked like they had not been opened at all. This is Angelica. And these were $12.99. That's what it looks like. It's super, I don't know if, yeah, you can kind of see the sparkles in it. I thought, you know what? I don't have anything that looks quite like that type of a sparkle. And that's what it looks like. It's kind of a pretty pink. It's a very bluish pink, which I don't have a lot of blushes like that in my collection. So I thought that might be nice to have something that was a little different. Then I found this guy. This is the Peel Off Nose Pack. This was $5.99 and it's supposed to be a mask that you paint on your nose and then leave for 15 to 20 minutes and then you peel it off and it's supposed to be like a pore strip but in a liquid form and I thought you know what I'm going to try that for $5.99 really excited about that I did pick up some perfumes too but I'm going to do my perfumes in a separate haul is these little books once upon a time bar soaps they're so cute i wanted the packages honestly that's why i got them but they're really cute inside too there are four soaps in here and they're all they look the same they're the same in both but there's sparkling mint cinnamon spice enchanted spruce and cranberry vanilla and like I said, they're the same in both. This one has a plastic cover for some reason. They were $5.99. It was after Christmas, so I was kind of sad that they weren't like on clearance because I felt, you know, they're very Christmassy, but whatever. I'm gonna insert a picture right here of the next thing that I picked up because it was a tin and I left it at my parents' house with the Christmas decorations and stuff. It's a tin owl like piggy bank but it was full of all of this stuff from the body shop and it wasn't what was supposed to be in there but they just kind of stuck random things in and it was like five dollars which seemed like a really good deal for what I got so I got two shower gels I got strawberry which is my favorite and then I got Fuji green tea which I'm not as I'm not really familiar with this scent it smells fine it's like a very clean scent it's nothing like super over the top or obtrusive by any means and then it had a hand cream from the body shop in strawberry i was so excited they're all body shop because it was a body shop container uh, and then i had two bath bombs the little bath bombs strawberry and coconut well one's a bath bubble i'm not really sure what the difference between a bomb and a bumble, bubble is but for five dollars with the tin i thought that was a pretty decent value then the next things this was a different TJ Maxx I stopped at a couple along the way home this one is a Dr. Jart shake and shot with black bean rubber pore minimizing mask 
And I don't know if you've seen these, they have like the face on them, they're kind of weird. This is actually like a spatula, that's the straw. And then you mix it with water, and then you put it on and then it peels off. I thought I would try them because they were different and the packaging was cute. This was $5.99. And then the other Dr. Jarts that I got, this is similar in nature, but different. This was $7.99. It has an ampule that you put on first, and then you put the rubber mask on over the top. And then I got two of these that were $3.49 because this sounded right up my alley there. It's a bubble mask. You only leave it on for a few minutes. You put a peeling essence and then the mask. And then I think you're done after that. Yeah, it's just a two step. So I picked up two of those in case I liked it because they're so expensive. Also found, I was really excited that I found these. Uh, these are the Scotland collection from OPI. I found Edinburgh, Edinburgh, er, and Taddy's. And then I also found You've got that glass glow. So there, you know, plays on Scottish places. They were $3.99. And then the rest of them that I had been looking for, finishing off, I got the Infinite Shine. Most of mine are Infinite Shine, except for those ones. These were $6.50 on clearance at Kohl's. I was really excited about that. Nice set of pipes, and I had Kohl's cash, so I actually got them for free with that. The things I've seen in Aberdeen green. And finally this one, a little gilt under the kilt. It's so pretty. It's like really sparkly red. So I picked up those and then at Tuesday morning, they had this set. This was like $1.99. And I could use some more like base coat and top coat. So there's a base coat, a top coat and a little cleaner that like preps your nails. So $1.99 for the Formula X, which I quite enjoy. I think it's a really nice brand. Next things that I picked up were some hair accessories. I found these at a little gift shop and they were half price and I thought, you know, really nice. Um, this one, I don't know so much what I will use it for, but like orange is great for Halloween and then navy is always a classic. So I'm glad I picked those up. And then I picked up a couple other things of hair. Uh, some bobby pin kind of things that I frequently wear when I part my hair. These were Lauren Conrad. As you can see, they were on clearance at Kohl's. And yes, I did use that, get the clearance on them too. Super pretty. I like the colors. Like a chocolate plummy kind of color, pink and cream. Colors that I wear on a pretty regular basis. My mom picked up this next thing. She found it at Costco and she picked it up for me and I'm going to now have to figure out how to use them because I'm not, I haven't really used Artiste brushes. This was like $19.97 for the four brushes. You have a oval six, an oval three, a linear one, and a circle one R. And it does tell you where they work on different places on the face. And I know that Artiste brushes are pretty expensive, so I was excited that she thought of me and picked those up. I did get a boxy add-on, that's what they're called. I picked up a bend and snap from Too Faced. This is one of my favorite colors, but I have such terrible luck with these going rancid that I decided when they were $6, I would pick up a backup so that when my other one goes rancid, which I know it will be going rancid anytime now, I have that backup. I'm not really sure where I got this. It's some sample from somewhere. It is Clinique Sculptwear Lift and Contour Serum for face and neck. It was in my drawer for my haul and I was like, where did this come from? I don't even remember getting this anywhere, but that's what it looks like. So somewhere along the line, I picked that up. I also redeemed some Ulta points and I picked up some things. First things that I got were these Mario Badescu anti-acne serums because I desperately needed them. I go through about a bottle a month. If you watch my empties, you know that. So I picked up those and then I got a perfume, which you'll see in my perfume haul. Picked up some Biore pore strips because I definitely needed those too. I combined the coupon with the 20% off so I could get a little bit more. I paid like $5 for it all. 
And then I picked up the Nabla Poison Garden palette because I really like the secret palette that I got from them earlier. Oh my gosh, I almost dropped it. You can see where I caught it. Um, so this is what it looks like. Their shadows are so nice. Uh, I, they, they blend so well. The mattes blend really well. The shimmers are really pretty. I have really enjoyed the palette that I had. So I thought, you know what? I really want this one. I could have, you know, come out exactly even if I had chosen to do by getting a ColourPop palette or something else. But I decided that I was gonna go a little over so that I could pick up this one as well. And I'm really glad that I did that. I'm gonna be kind of on a palette roll because I did pick up a few this month. Not like a, as many as I have in the past. I did pick up the Pat McGrath. Uh, this is the Mothership Subliminal. It's not like the Mother Mothership. It's the one without any of the vowels in it. And these were, look at the, it's so cool. These were, this one was half price on her website. So I immediately jumped on to pick it up. And last I looked, it was still available, which was really surprising to me. It does look like she's getting rid of them because the other two were not available at all which is kind of sad. I do really like the Le'Veon Rose one. I have that one. And then uh, I, I wanted to get all of them once I started. I will swatch most of them. I still have my blush on there. That last one had a little fallout, but I think that might be because I used my pinky. But there you can see what the matte looks like. They're pretty pigmented. The one I have works really well and I really do enjoy it. So I was excited to be able to get another one for half price, even though they did go up $10. So it was $5 more than the one that I purchased before. So the final palette I picked up was the Amorese palette. And I ordered this from ABH the day that it launched because they had a sale going on. They had a discount coupon and then you could get any brush you wanted for I don't know, $10 or something, a discount. And I've heard so many great things about this A23 Pro brush that I thought, you know what, I wanna get it. It's supposed to be a really nice highlighter brush. So I picked that one up, ordered it on the 14th of January. It shipped out on the 15th of January. I was so excited. It said it was gonna be there by like the 21st and I was like, perfect. It didn't come. And the 21st came and went and it marked it back to the 23rd and it came and went but I had no tracking, like it wasn't ever, the shipper never got it. So then finally on the 25th, I contacted him and I was like, hey, I've never gotten this. It looks like it's never left the warehouse, you know, what's up? And they said, oh, we're sending you out another order. But they didn't send it, like you would think that if somebody's waited that long and they ordered it the day of, that you would send it priority because you messed up and never, sent it out of the warehouse because it's obviously their fault because they never got it never showed up to fedex or whatever i think it was fedex no they sent it slow shipping so i finally got this on the 5th of february i think it took an extra day than even what it was originally saying and i was like really i had to wait 20 days for this damn thing sorry um if I was just pretty upset that they didn't even try to like expedite shipping, which I would have expected them to try to do. Anyway, this is what it looks like. I was surprised because this is actually larger than the other ABH palettes. And I was not expecting it to be larger than them. Hang on, let me grab one so I can show you in comparison. All right, so as you can see, this is the Norvina up here. It has two more shadows than the other ones, which is kind of cool that we have two more, but also as a collector and like as somebody trying to figure out where to store things, this is bigger and where am I gonna put this thing now? It does come with one of their brushes, which I always pass along and give to other people. So that this will be no different. And let's swatch some of the colors. I haven't touched it at all because I was really just, I was upset the two days ago when I finally got it. Um, I don't know who Amorese is. I know that I love the highlighter that I have from their first collaboration. I just did Barb because that looks so beautiful. Let's do this one, which is Semsa. That feels a little rough. 
like it has some texture like it's not a smooth formula uh let's do the yugo which is this dark one on the very end and then it does have a couple press glitters which i don't do press glitters because i don't want to damage my eyes i have no desire to do that so those will go unused so basically it could be just a regular palette so once again i got a little extra on that last one and i think it's because i was swatching with my pinky but it blew away pretty nice that one on top is so pretty because it like catches the light and looks different in different lights i don't know if it's technically supposed to be a duochrome but i'm getting that effect from it and those are really nice and pigmented so i'm hoping that i'll get a lot of use out of this palette but for my first experience ordering directly from abh on Asajio beverly hills i'm not really impressed with their shipping or i mean they sent it out the next day but you know I waited a long time and I bought it the day it came out for a reason. All right, so the next thing that I picked up was a MAC product. It's the collaboration with PAC. I don't know what the last name is. It's kind of, I have no idea. Anyway, this one was a Nordstrom's exclusive and I just really wanted one of these liquid lipsticks. I thought the packaging was quite pretty on it. I like that it's frosted so it's not super obvious and the colors were so pretty. I picked up the shade Privacy Please and I haven't tried this formula from MAC, but so there's one swatch. I'm gonna see if it builds up. It kind of is sheer. I wonder what it will be like on the lips. I'm excited to try that. It's actually kind of similar to what I'm wearing on my lips today. But yeah, so I picked up this one and I waited too long. I wanted two of the shades and one of them was already gone, which was too bad. And then they have some really bougie samples along with that. So I got this Sicily Paris one. This is a neck cream. And then I got a La Mer Moisturizing Soft Cream sample, which I'm excited to get. And then I got this perfume, which is Le Labo Gras New York. And it is, you know, a more eco-friendly packaging. That's kind of nice. And then this is what it looks like. I'm going to try to open it and give it a whiff really fast. That's an interesting scent. I'm not really sure... What it, it reminds me of something, but I can't put my finger on it right now. But yeah, it's there. All right, next up are some things from the drugstore. I already kind of mentioned this in one of my sample Saturdays, but I did pick up a pack of these just to get me through until I got back home because I ran out while I was at my parents. Then I picked up the Hello Halo Blush Lighter from Wet n Wild. This I saw it and I was like, that's kind of cool. They had a few different shades at my grocery store. And let's see what they swatch like. That's a very blushy, like glowy blush. And that highlighter, I love Wet n Wild highlighters. They are so beautiful. They're really over the top. And yeah, I'm excited to try both of those. The Milani Amour Matte Lip Creme, and it is in the shade Love. These were on clearance at my store, and I thought, you know what? I'm going to try one because they were like $2 on clearance. And that's the shade. It's not my favorite shade, but it seemed like the most wearable of the shades that they had left because they had several blank spots since they were clearancing all of them out. Then the next things that I have, I do have one more color product but I'm going to be at the end of this I've already recorded it but I bought an advent calendar from Dillard's and I got a couple gifts with purchase so this is the one and in here there's a few things there's a Clinique mascara which I know isn't my favorite so I'm going to pass that one along and then there's a Clinique Moisture Surge Eye and it has green dots in there as well as the pink that are usually in there which interesting and then there's also a lip gloss which I do like this lip gloss this is just a really sheer one though so I'm not going to swatch it because 
I haven't opened it and I'm going to kind of leave it that way. And then, like I said, it came with this little bag. And then you'll see the whole unboxing here at the end. And the last thing in the box is a $15, uh, no, was it 15? Was it 25? It might've been 25. Anyway, it was the exact amount of this little blush from Clinique and it could be on any of the products that are in it. So spoiler, there are Clinique products in that. And I decided to pick up Melon Pop. It is one of their cute little daisy type blushes. I've always wanted to try one of these, but I just never have gotten around to doing it. And it might've been a $20 certificate. So I did a couple layers so that you could see it a little bit better. I think it's going to be a pretty color. I'm, I'm excited to try it. I did go to the store like the day that I got my bad filling. The whole tooth thing was a whole problem. But I went in on Martin Luther King Day because it was the last day that that coupon was good. And I just picked the first thing that I saw because I was too in pain to pick it up, like to actually do shopping. All right, if you've watched my like ketchup haul, you already kind of know part of the saga that went on, but I did make a big purchase from, not a big purchase, but I went to Bath and Body Works to stock up on wallflowers during their semi-annual sale. And this guy slid was not, was not secure, unfortunately, and it did ruin my mini Natasha Denona palette that just came out, the glam one. So I do have this one. This is pineapple mango. I'm gonna set it down carefully because it still is kind of leaky underneath the plastic, unfortunately. But then I picked up a whole bunch more. I did get duplicates and leave some of them at my parents' house as well, just to make my life easier because I have wallflowers there when I'm there. So tis the season. I'm pretty sure I picked up two of those. Black Cherry Merlot. That's like one of my favorite scents of all time. So, so good. Then we got Georgia Peach Frosted Cranberry. Know that I picked up an extra one of that because that's another one that I absolutely love. Caribbean Escape Watermelon Lemonade. That one's quite lovely as well. Then we have Tiki Mango Mai Tai and Heirloom Apple. I have like three or four that I left there. So I don't remember. They were all duplicates of the same scents. And then I picked up two of these scent portable discs. I picked up Tis the Season and Frosted Cranberry because those are both scents that I quite enjoy. And they were all on sale and I had extra coupons and all that good stuff. All right, last bit before that advent calendar, which had so much good stuff in it, actually, guys. Um, I really enjoyed it. I have my Zany Laney haul. Uh, she's only doing certain scents now. They're not having all of the scents all year round, which kind of is sad in a way. Like, I totally understand. I know they can't have all of the scents because they have so many, but there are certain scents that I love and I always am reaching for. And I'm very sad that I don't have like scrubs for an entire year. Not that I am low on scrubs by any means, but you know what I mean. All right, one of these is leaking a little bit. I'm sure it's because I left it a little, it's warm in my office and they've been sitting. And I think, you know, if there's spillage at all during shipment, which sometimes happens and it's not their fault by any means, it will leak down a little bit. Anyway, I picked up this first one. This is Christmas Snowflake. It is snow, cherries, and pie. And it's based on the Grinch Stole Christmas, I believe. Then I picked up Expendables, which is cherries, water, and a big bit of luck, which is based on Star Trek. Can you sense this theme with the scents that I picked? And then this one is Mare. You must live, I guess. Mare, M-A-I-R. Clementines, huckleberries, and clean air. I'm not really sure. Like, I know they said in their video, that's the one that's leaking. I just felt it. I know in their video they talked about which, what it's based on, and I have no idea. I'm just nothing. I know nothing about that. It's an anime thing. Then I picked up one of their wax sets. They are discontinuing their six packs of wax. They're gonna have other ones. I have one of them going right now and it smells so good. 
This is Ordinary Things. It's based on The Office, if you couldn't tell from the artwork. It is cranberry, oranges, and apples. This one smells really good. Yeah, do like this one. Nice fruity type scent. Then they threw in some extras. There is this, which I don't, don't ask me what it is. Back from the Dead reopening bash. Maybe it's Dingo's Ate My Baby. If you know, let me know. Then I got this little pack as well. And in here is just a whole bunch of different little things. I got one of their buttons. This is Don't Blink from Doctor Who, which obviously makes sense since it is a weeping angel. If you know Doctor Who, you know what that means. I got a little artwork for the bunny. I don't remember what the bunny's name is. I'm sorry. Agent Carter. This is another little sticker. I'm excited about that one because I do think she is super cute. Then I got a roller ball of their scent. Uh, I, yeah, so it is a roller ball. I'm going to pass this one along because actually maybe not. No, it's it's a little too bakery for me. It smells good. I get those, it's pecan pie and tart cranberries. It is Thanksgiving pie, I probably already said that. It's just a little too bakery. I think it's gonna give me a headache in the end because of that. So that will be in a giveaway, as well as this one. This is Santa's little helper. This is one of their car scents. You hang this in the car and it releases scents. It is donuts, brown sugar, and chestnuts. It's based on The Simpsons, the dog character. So if you've made it this far, comment down below, leave me a comment, tell me how your week's going, or tell me a video that you really wanna see from me or that you really enjoy that I already do. And I'm gonna have a little giveaway. I'll have the blush, I'll have the rollerball and the car scent. And then I'll throw in some other things. I might have a six pack of wax as well. It'll be kind of a random thing. You'll find out when you open it. Anyway, let me know down below how your day, week, everything is going. Stay tuned for the unboxing of the uh, advent calendar and let me know what you think of that as well. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye. So the biggest thing I got in January I actually got on the first it is an advent calendar from Dillard's and it is huge and it's really cool and I'm going to be putting it away for Christmas for next year but I just wanted to pull out everything and show you because it's so big that I don't want to leave it in my office before I film it and it's I just won't really have a place for it to leave it out until I get around to filming all of the stuff, which is gonna be a couple weeks from now because it's the middle of January right now. So day one was an Estee Lauder Perfectly Clean Multi-Action Foam Cleanser Purifying Mask, which is cool. I've never heard of that before. I got this one on clearance. I think it was like 119 on clearance. It was 40% off. And then it does have a $25 gift certificate in it, which expires tomorrow. So I'm going to be going to Dillard's to do that. Then in here is day two was a full size Babe Alert Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick. My favorite liquid lipstick. The liquid lipstick that I have completely used up, it like was gone. So that was made it well worth it for me. I mean, not the whole price, but. Then Michael Kors Wanderlust. This is a roll on and it smells really nice. I don't have a lot of Michael Kors scents, that's for sure. That was day three, day four, and they're all over the place, which is kind of crazy. We have something from Clinique. This is the Moisture Surge, uh, super concentrated, oh my gosh, supercharged concentrate. So it's the concentrate version instead of just the regular ver version. Day five kept like getting caught and ruining the other drawers, so I took it out. It is. Bobbi Brown face base, which I have been interested in trying. I keep hearing so many cool things about it, but I've never tried it. So I was excited to get that. And then we got another Bobbi Brown product in day six, 
which is a smoky eye mascara. I'm really excited about that because I really like that mascara. It's one of the mascaras that I really do um, enjoy and think is really good. Then we got a Max Prep and Prime Fix Plus. I haven't had the best luck with that, but I will give it a try again. You never know. Otherwise, I'll probably pass it along to a friend. This one is going to be passed along. This is the Clinique Lash Power Mascara. Just not my favorite formula. Let's see if I can open it so you can see what the packaging looks like. That's what, it, oh, I have not tried this one actually. Never mind. I will be trying this one out because I'm not familiar with this one. And some of these did have packages in them, but trying to like make it more compact, I took them out. Avita Hand Relief Moisturizing Cream is day nine, 10. You probably don't even care what order they are because it's so late. Was a Glam Glow Moisturizer. I love this moisturizer. It smells like creamsicles, which is just lovely. And it has like a light shimmer to it. It's really, really nice. Day 11 was another perfume sample, or perfume, this one is from Estee Lauder. It is Beautiful Belle which is one that I didn't have. And it's actually a little spray bottle, which I thought was super cool because you don't get that a lot. Day 12 is another Avita item. This is a Damage Ready Daily Hair Repair, which is a nice leave-in. I will definitely use that. Day 13 is this huge thing from MAC. This is a strobe cream from MAC. And this is so giant, I, I'm shocked at how big it is. Um, so yeah, excited about, well not excited about that. I don't know what to do with that. That's a lot of strobe cream. Then we have a Estee Lauder Micro Essence, which is supposed to be a lotion. I need to figure out how to use this. So I'm gonna be doing some research on if you put this on a cotton ball, if you just splash it on your face, if it's supposed to be cleaning, I know it's not a clean room, but we'll figure out how to use that. I just wish there was instructions with that one. Day 15, some of them are a little difficult to find, is the seven day scrub cream from Clinique, which I think I liked, I don't remember. I know I've tried it. That's one that I just, I don't remember. Most of the time I don't remember. Day 16 is a little Clinique Moisture Surge Overnight Mask which I have not tried either. I'm excited about that because I do love Moisture Surge so much. Day 17 is from Origins. It is the Clear Improvements Charcoal Mud Mask. I will pass this one along because I just have so many of it already. But so far, that's the first one that I'm definitely passing along. Day 18 is a MAC lipstick, and this one is interesting. This is in the shade Fire Roasted. This is one of their uh, lip tensity lipsticks and i'm just i'm not sure i said i wasn't going to get any more reds but i think it's really pretty and i'm kind of interested in it you know what i'm going to swatch it i should have swatched the smashbox too so that's what it looks like it's really it's a cool shade we're going to swatch the smashbox too because i know i love this one it's so good so so good Really like that one. Day 19 is another Origins. This is a Plant Scriptions Anti-Aging Power Serum. I know I have another sample of that, but I haven't used it yet. But serums are always like amazing things to get. I'm always happy to get those. Then we have the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair, which I've gone through several bottles of those over the years, and they're, they're nice. 21 is an origins eye cream the ginseng eye cream I've used those for several several of those over the years as well they're pretty good day 22 we're almost done is this another smashbox this is the primerizer i need to try this i have a smaller sample of this and so if i don't like the smaller sample i'm probably going to pass this one along but i definitely need to try it day 23 i believe is where i am at it gets kind of confusing after a while. You're like, wait, what door am I opening? Is another Glam Glow. This is the Super Mud Clearing Mask. I have used these quite a bit. I might see how many I have of this one before I use it. Day 24 is another Estee Lauder. This is the Advanced Night Repair 
concentrate. This one's a concentrate. What's this one? Synchronized Recovery Complex 2. So you got two different uh, of those. That was day 24. And then day 25, like I said, had a $25 uh, coupon that you could use in store for any of the products featured in this box, which is pretty good. And then also the Moisture Surge, which is my favorite moisturizer. Really love this one. Now, would I have paid like the 195 that this was originally? No, I don't think that was worth $195. The 119 that I got it for, I don't think is too bad, especially because it did have that $25 certificate in it. And just, you know, you got some nice full size, you got full size Mac, you got full size Smashbox. This one I know is like $24. The other ones, I guess your mascara is probably full sized as well. You got a couple of perfumes that are worth quite a bit. There's just a lot of stuff that I actually will use in this box, which was the reason why I felt like this would be worth my money. I looked at the back of it before I made my purchase because it was after Christmas anyway. It was January 1st when they were having their giant sale. And I just, I'm really happy with it. I think the box is cool because I can reuse it. It's not a disposable one that you can't use after you've opened it. This one, you can actually reuse it and do other things. It would be really cool to give this as a gift next year, fill it with other things. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below.